Hello and uh, welcome to another one of those videos that I like to do with screen capture. I'm using my um, uh, new headset mic that I bought which is pretty good um, and I'm using Cam Studio to record. I really get irritated when people record a computer screen to talk about stuff. <laughs> like hey look this is um like they'll use they'll record their monitor and you can see the lines going down and stuff that you could just use this program called cam studio um not ca yeah cam studio uh, this video is gonna be about google but i guess you know i could al also show you guys what cam studio is cam studio is a program that lets you record screen captures um I have I used to use a USB microphone and I would have problems with sound but um now I have the a microphone that plugs into my microphone jack that's in the front of my computer so it looks like that fixed everything oh well, we'll see so this video that I'm doing is called Google is everything let me open up my favorite browser Firefox um a while back, YouTube was asking you to uh, log in with your YouTube account. No. But what I do, I added to my Firefox browser a Google toolbar. So this is my Google home page, which you get by clicking this Google button up here. And you could add um, buttons that like you, let you let you go to things like Picasso and these are all the pictures I have in my Picasso web album you could also go to your Gmail account just by clicking this up here and uh, you can see I have mail mail and your YouTube I have YouTube as my home but I also have this YouTube button up here which brings me to um, my home page and also you could add a button for blogger all these um, all these uh, services are offered by Google so I would recommend if you have a blog or if you have a Picasso web album and Gmail YouTube to get a, um, a Google toolbar and add add these buttons one annoying thing though even though I stop Google from go starting up with my computer every so often it always puts itself itself there so that's annoying and this is my blog one man's hobby I wrote a post about code gears which is uh, fun and there's uh, the first episode I want to talk about two more Google things that you can love oh yeah and you could add a theme to your Firefox right you see the first Gundam from Od Odaiba the little thing there <laughs> alright so the next thing they like from Google is um, Google Chrome. I use Google Chrome a lot. As um, my main browser is Firefox. Each browser that I have, I assigned it to a um, one of my YouTube channels. So Google Chrome is assigned to my Alpha Six Echo channel. Let me see. That's weird. All right. Sign in and voila. One thing though, um, when you have Firefox and AdBlock Plus, uh, the advertisements on videos on YouTube don't show up, but when you use them, you'll get the, the advertisements. <laughs> and they have, uh, you could also do the same thing here and add um, 
bookmarks like I have my Picasso my YouTube my um, blog and my Gmail so Google Chrome I I kinda like it it's not my first browser but um, that's a Bayonetta theme but I like it and the next thing that Google made or the next Google product that I like is where is it Google uh, well I've already told you guys about Picasa so that's one thing you guys um, can get all these things are free and I guess since Google is cool with the whole world <laughs> you could always like use them no matter what country you're in where is it I'm looking for Google SketchUp ah, here we go <sighs> so um if some of you guys have seen my um my Gundam cast intro I used I used it doing Google SketchUp. My brother um told me about this here this little button with the box and the and the arrow is where you get models so this is Google's 3d warehouse so there's various Gundam models 3d models in here that you can use I see but since I'm a double O fan, I kind of like the. Well, let me see. I haven't looked at this model. This is Gundam Dynamis shooting mode. You could download the model into your Google SketchUp. My computer wants to take off, and there you go. So here's the model. You gotta zoom out with your mouse. And there you go. That's that's how you that's um the view from the top of the model. So you use these buttons here to pan. You have to place the model in the screen square. And then you have this to orbit, and you could orbit around it. As you can see, the model is floating off the ground. So we're going to pan it. Right. Yes. Mm, now I know how to move it. All right, I zoomed in. Let me orbit. then pan to move it so what I did what the way I created that animated sequence was that I went here to position camera oh no forget it <laughs> let me see you see here view it says animation add scene so when you click add scene the scene is added scene one and then you move the model and then you add another scene animation add scene and then move again with the orbit then pan it V, um, view animation add scene and let's finish up by orbiting here to the front animation add scene and then zooming in and then 
animation add scene all right so clicking on these scenes will show you what's gonna happen so what you do after you got the animation done just hit here and let me see play then so there it is it's playing and it'll keep looping until you tell it to stop then what you do let me see you export this as an animation and it'll create a AVI file so after you're done creating your AVI file you could upload it to YouTube and add music and stuff so if you like Gundam like I do <laughs> you could try this out but there are a whole bunch of different models on um on Google's uh, SketchUp and you can save these models on your computer so that's it for Google um, I would show you guys Google Maps. Oh wait, let me see. There's two more things that you have Google Maps, but I have my address there as the default, <laughs> so I'm not gonna show that. But uh, it'll help you get directions to any place. And then the two other things I have is Google Documents and Google Calendar. I, I I'll show you the calendar because there's nothing private so with this you can plan your um your dates and stuff like san diego comic con started the 22nd ends on sunday the 25th and then my uh, one of my friends goes on vacation the storage is due the astria 111 slash 144 came out today so it's a free calendar and it's pretty cool man i was gonna say something my friends goes on vacation the storage is due the s3 111 slash 144 came out today so it's a free calendar and it's pretty cool man I was gonna say something so one of the things you can do with your YouTube account you go to Aries I mean to your channel and then go to account and you see here it is the email options you could add your address like um and every time you get um a notification it'll be here how often can youtube subscribe me i put don't send any but you could always know when someone's going to leave you a comment or a message or they um leave a comment on your channel which is weird when someone leaves a, co a comment on your channel it doesn't show up like in your mailbox unless you you have this set up but that's one thing and if if you don't have a YouTube account I would recommend getting a Gmail account and then going here to settings oh no well I guess <laughs> get a Gmail account and then um, when you go to Google here at settings you could add more products you could add your iGoogle, your Picasso, Google Talk uh, Google Reader, YouTube, Gmail Blogger so once you get a Gmail account you could do all that so that's it um, as you can already tell by now I do love Google it is very good <laughs> and I hope you guys have learned um, how to sync up your accounts and um, how to play with Google SketchUp. See ya. Bye.